What is going on guys? It's your boy Big Dawn and welcome back to another Destiny video. Now in today's video I've got something a little bit different from what you guys are usually used to seeing and that is I'm going to be watching an actual game of my Crucible you know, of a match I played this weekend in Trials of Osiris on Pantheon um, and I'm actually going to be breaking it down to whether to I made a good play or whether I made a bad play places I can improve and you know is my accuracy good I'm going to be sort of be just critiquing my own gameplay basically now this is one of the best ways you can sort of improve at destiny you know in general any pvp game this is the best way to improve you know by yourself is just critiquing your own gameplay and trying to see where you can improve and obviously just see how much of a good a player you really are so hopefully you guys sort of enjoy this type of video so i'm actually going to be turning it into a regular series maybe do one or two a week basically breaking down different game modes or you know will be every any game mode that I'll be covering so but for this one we're just choosing Trials of Osiris just because I thought it'd be a very good place to start so already I've already inspected all the enemies I've already seen you know what they're using I've already got all that out of the way so that's nice to know um, so let's see what happens here there might be I might end up stop talking here and there when the game play gets a little bit dead um, but we'll just have to wait and see what gets into it so I picked a decent game here I think I made some good plays off the start and then I started to fall apart at the end, so we'll just have to wait and see. So there was a good grenade there, so I got, ended up tracking a few people. I get one pick, which is decent, and I ended up challenging the last guy. My grenade got the third one, so that was a really good play there. Okay, I got all three people. I challenged everyone when I was at full health. The third guy, again, like I said, it was at full health, and I ended up winning my one there. My shots were on point. That was a great play, in my opinion. Exactly how I want to be playing the matches out. So again, running straight into the same route, I think I end up running straight into mid again. Which again, for Pantheon, I always like to end up capturing the midpoint. As soon as you get mid, you're pretty much okay. Never really any point in pushing out. So the grenade again, because I knew it worked last round, I thought I'd try it again this one. It is tracking one or two people. Got a couple of shots into the guy on the bridge, but I have to back up because I'm tagged. Again, I challenge another guy. Managed to land my shots, luckily, on that guy. Um... Spike grenade gets me weak, so I take cover, make sure I regen my health, sit down to actually look around the cover, that's actually a really decent play, I'm actually quite happy that I played that pretty well actually, might just, you know, actually, the thing about Destiny as well is your life is always better than a kill, especially in Trials of Osiris, always play your life out, as it is far more important than to stay alive than just to get one kill. So right here we've actually got one res down, but we've forced the enemies into waterfall, we've sort of bottlenecked them in. So I'm pretty much right now I'm just radar watching and trying to maybe flank around. Maybe trying to catch one off guard. So I'm just taking cover, sitting down and peeking behind the cover. See one on my radar. I jump up. Get two shots into that guy. Um, throw an Axion so this guy has to actually run away or shade step out of it. He shade steps. I push him because my mate, teammate's actually pushing behind. Get an extra free kill. So that was a very good play again in my opinion. So that's two solid rounds in a row where I've got all three kills. Great you know, great so far, don't really have too much to complain about of the decisions I'm making, I feel like everything's planning out alright here. So I feel like I'll probably end up going in straight into middle again, because two rounds in a row it's gone very well for me, so I'll probably just end up running straight into mid. So I have to wait and see. Oh, so somebody actually challenged mid this time. I end up backing up again because I'm weak, I end up trying to just play my life as well as much as possible. My grenade tags him, so again, get my health back instantly teammate picks up another one and then this guy's on his own special so again run up forward put pressure on him and three tapping so again good players nothing really to complain about there um i'm really happy that i played my life really well on that set when i got really weak my grenade ended up for actually finishing him off so that was a very decent play so a heavy round is up now this is where i usually always end up losing heavy rounds i don't know why but um, we'll just have to wait and see what happens on this one. So again, pushing out into mid, I can see one on my radar. So the, there is one or two out into mid. Extremely bad play there from me. I'd, I should not have just been floating up and jumping up in the air. That was an absolutely terrible play on my part. I should have probably just ran out and took cover behind the cube and tried to anchor points. But instead I just randomly floated in midair like a, like a complete idiot. And then I ended up dying and losing as the round. So again... That is where I could improve. So now I've critiqued that. Now I know that you know, in the future games I end up playing on this map, or just in certain different scenarios, to not just jump and float around the map. Okay. 
especially out in the open like that where there's no cover for me um, so definitely that's the point where I can improve on so let's see how the next couple of rounds go here so I'm pushing straight out into mid again by the looks of it so they ended up throwing a grenade I got my Axion tracking some, I know they have to retreat into the spawn and run away from them now. So one of my teammates is down, I've acknowledged that, which is decent. So I know that they're pretty much all trying to push Waterfall. I choked my last couple of shots there. I got one with my Nova Bomb, luckily, um, extremely lucky that I actually tagged him. Get another one with the Eyes Luna there, which is pretty decent shots. So this was an extremely dumb play, I shouldn't have challenged that. Um, but although it did open it up for my teammates to get a double Nova Bomb, I shouldn't have pushed in that aggressively and I should have just let him go in on his own and you know solo Nova the res. And then I would have been able to stay alive and he would have been able to create the orbs of light for me. Um, that would have been a better situation rather than me just running in like an idiot again and dying. So that is also another place to where I can improve. Just try not to get too impatient. That's one of the main things I'm trying to take away from this. Um, is I just get a little bit cocky when I get um, one or two kills and when I start to steamroll through the enemies um, and I start to get you know really aggressive on the enemies so that's again something that I need, really do need to improve on so I'm calling this out to my teammates now uh, basically they're pushing through into spawn as well the teammates pop popped a golden gun he's already picked one up down near waterfall alley sort of thing so I know that there's one to the left of me in spawn and one to the right so they're both running into spawn, I've acknowledged that, I tried to make a push. I end up backing up here because there's two of them trying to single me out. So this is a decent play, I'm just holding my ground and sort of trying to lock them in their spawn. Waiting for my teammates to come and try and give me some support. So one of my teammates actually gets tethered here. Uh, he acknowledges and tells me that you know he's got one one shot, I run in for the clean up. And then luckily managed to land two shots and then my teammate managed to get the last shot in as well. So I get overall decent game. Um, I made some pretty decent plays but I also messed up there. Hopefully the reason why I'm actually starting this series guys is just so hopefully other people sort of get some sort of tips from this and sort of learn um, you know, from my mistakes. And you could also do this yourself. If you want to live stream on Twitch and then go watch your past broadcasts and sort of break it down yourself. Watch your own gameplays back. And you will slowly start to improve in the Crucible. I used to do this quite a bit, in, uh, especially Halo. Um, but I'm definitely going to be starting to do it again now in Destiny. Because I've started to sort of plateau in my gameplay. I'm not really getting any better. Um, mainly, again, because I've not really got any drive to play. But overall, I feel like this is going to definitely help me again. And hopefully, like I said, you guys get some information from this also. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel for future Destiny content. Hopefully you enjoyed this type of video and peace.